Now we'll discuss the resuscitation team and advanced cardiac life support. First, let's review the 2010 AHA ACLS guidelines. They highlight effective team dynamics. In the community, the first person on the scene may be performing CPR alone, but in a hospital, bring dozens to a victim's room. It is important to rapidly and effectively organize team members. Here is the basic team structure. It includes the team leader and team member categories. The team leader should organize the group, monitor performance, and be able to perform all skills. The leader should also direct team members and provide a critique of the group's performance after the resuscitation effort. The team member should understand his or her role in the ACLS sequences. Members should be willing, able, and skilled to perform their role and remain committed to the success of the team. First, the team leader gives the clear assignment to the members. Then the team member responds verbally with voice and eye contact. The leader listens for confirmation and the member reports when the task is complete and its results. That concludes the resuscitation team lesson.